Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Aries, I'm going to be doing your star sign reading for 2021, whether it ends up being a soulmate reading or something to do with work or relationships, uh, family. But let's see what spirit wants to say to you. Um, I am going to be using for the most part my beautiful spirit song tarot because we can learn a great deal from mother nature and there's some wonderful messages and insight uh, in these cards for you today um, and I'm also going to be using a variety of other other decks as guided by spirit so um, I do have two little doggies um, one of them does have a bad snore so if she does stop snoring I do apologize and if this reading resonates, I would be so grateful if you would comment, like, share and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means that it wasn't for you today. And there'll always be a reading for you at exactly the right time that you need it as guided by spirit. So Aries, let's move on with your reading. And I want, first of all, what I want to see, I'm going to do four main cards. I'm going to look at where you are right now on your journey. And then I'm going to be looking at where you want to be next year. What's coming in for you? and also advice from spirit to help you on your journey, to help you um, get to where you want to be. So first of all, let's see where you are right now, your perceived state of mind. Thank you, spirit, for Aries, whatever this reading is meant to be for. Thank you, spirit. Aries perceived state of mind. That wanted to jump, which was the star. Um, so you've got the hangman has come out, which is a major arcana. Um, and so the hangman is about taking time out to observe, which is so important um, that we do, uh, rather than react to things, we stand back and we observe. You've chosen to take this time out. It's a deep reflection on things in your life. Um, you know, it's not necessary that we learn through experiences. We actually learn from reflecting on those experiences afterwards. Um, and so this is the place you're in right now. There is an attachment that you have to somebody um, and it could be a lifelong attachment that you have to them, a very profound deep relationship, but there is something that you are attached to, um, but you are beginning to see things from a different perspective. Um, now, this is the praying mantis um, and it says here, patience and perspective. So you, you really have pause in your life at this stage and it's it's very important to pause because it's when we pause and reflect that we get that clarity that we get that insight and I feel that's where you're um you're at right now um the praying mantis is kind of um is symbol of symbolism of sort of calm and patience and that observance as I said and um it's also about discovering solutions because, you know, we're always presented with what we perceive as problems, but actually they're wonderful learning experiences. And there's always a solution to everything. Um, we just have to trust that it comes in at exactly the right time for us. Um, and you've, you've really learned from those experiences, from reflecting on those experiences. You've learned lessons, you've shifted, you've changed, you're evolving, your soul is evolving. Um, and this has brought you a certain sense of peace and understanding about where you are right now. Um, with the attachment there, the energetic detachment to something, it is the universe is asking you still to do more on letting go, letting go of that and letting God, allowing what's meant to happen for you to come in at exactly the right time for you. But this is a, a very good place to be right now at the end of 2020. Um, Yes, you're certainly seeing things from a, a different perspective. And on the bottom of the deck, I see the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. So um, this is gratitude as well. So you're in that space right now of being grateful for not just all the wonderful, amazing things you have in your life and family around you and um, just where you are right now, but grateful also for what life has given you, thrown at you maybe in some situations, but you're grateful for who you have become in terms of who you know you are. You've come home to yourself because of uh, having gone through these and, and, and starting to see things from a different perspective. And that nine of cups means wish fulfillment. So you're on the right path. Um, <clears throat> the spirit is saying, well done. 
So Aries, let's have a look at where you want to be next year. Thank you, Spirit. Aries, thank you. They are, they, I, I, my guides have a sense of humour and so do yours. That Nine of Cups has just come out again. So you, <laughs> you want your wish fulfillment. Uh, and of course you do, and you deserve it, my darling. Um, the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment, it's the as above, down below. It's already done. You just may not have seen it yet, but it's already done. You've been manifesting it through that clarity and insight and letting go of things and continuing to let go. You're allowing the universe to come in and do what it does so beautifully and deliver things to us at the exact perfect to find timing. Um, this is wish fulfillment card. This is beautiful. And it comes because you are in that place of being grateful for everything that's happened for you in your life. Um, you're in that place of being grateful for it. And um, this card is represented by the penguin. You know, the penguin, the symbol and symbolism of the penguin is about being very determined, and very insightful as well. I mean, they can't fly, but that doesn't stop them. And it's, a, it's because Although you may have had so many challenges in your life, it hasn't stopped you from moving forward. And uh, you have such gratitude. I keep talking about this gratitude, but you do have such gratitude. Um, and it hasn't stopped. This gratitude has allowed you to soar. Even though you may have felt you couldn't do it, you're starting to see things happen. And your wish fulfillments, the universe say, are coming in. Um, you know, you will enjoy those wonderful surprises and delights and rewards and gifts from the universe because you have gone through something where you made the decision to try and look at things differently. You made the decision to try and see things from a higher perspective, a different perspective. Um, so that is wonderful. Um, and that penguin is looking at the praying mantis. So it's all in relation, I just want to show you. So you can see that focus on that. This is all in relation to everything you've gone through and done and been and become. So that is very, very beautiful. Um, let's have a look at what is coming in for you next year. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What is coming in for Aries next year? Ooh. King of Acorns is coming in for you and the bottom of the deck we have the wheel. So let me first of all talk about the King of Acorns. No, actually I'm going to talk about the wheel. So the wheel is change, it's possibilities, it's the wheel is turning in your favour. <clears throat> the wheel is that divine law, divine timing, everything happening at the right time. And always when I see the wheel, it's a reminder for me and for you, because as I say to you, I say unto myself, that we can choose to either hang on the outside of the wheel and have lots of ups, ups and downs, or we can choose to be so centered in on oneself, ourselves, that we're in the center of the wheel. And therefore we can observe everything that's happening without being so affected by it. And I feel very guided to say that to you because I feel with this hangman that you already understand that and you're starting to do it. You see, the octopus in this, with this wheel, is, is that master of adapting fluidly to things, the master of adapting to change, um, is able to move through the waters, you know, and through the changing waters, you know, with and going with the flow. And the key with that is adaptability with the wheel, is to know that everything's happening for you to stand back and observe as you've done is why it's happened for you and to tune into that rhythm and to not try and control it just to let things happen as they're meant to and to almost stand back out of the way and say my goodness this is amazing what's happened because you know there's no coincidences they're all god incidences everything happens for us all the time um i am also seeing the lover's card so there may be choices for you in love next year maybe that's part of your wish fulfillment um, and that's wonderful because you have got this king of acorns who's appeared. This is what's coming in for you next year. 
um, this king of acorns is the king of wands. Uh, and it talks about optimism and innovation. But because I've seen the lover's card, I feel this is somebody coming towards you, this king of acorns, this king of wands. Let me show you, it's a horse. The sun behind talks about great joy and great happiness. Whoever's coming towards you is very passionate about you. Um, they are a free spirit that's represented by the horse. Um, they may change, you know, kind of gallop in and out in the winds, but they're very energetic. They're very charismatic as well. Um, and there won't be much holding back with them, but there is a nervousness to them. There is a, you see with the rearing up, there is that nervousness about coming forward. And the King of Wands is somebody who knows what they want, really knows what they want. They tended to have gone through a tower moment, something that has given them clarity and insight. But they may be slightly going around in circles about you at this time, about how to come towards you. And this is what's causing them to rear up and that pause. But let's see, everything is moving in your favor, as I said, with the wheel. So, and it's going to be your choice because you've got the lover's card as well. Um, let's get some advice from Spirit for you. Thank you, Spirit. What advice do you have for Aries? Thank you. Thank you. What advice do you have for Aries for this reading? Transformation. This is the death card. This is fantastic. And this is why you have the hangman as well. Because actually, the um, hangman is number 12. And after the hangman comes the death card, which is transformation. So the, the, this, isn't a, this is an amazing card to have at this point with your spiritual guidance. Because what spirit is saying is you are going through an extraordinary transformation, transformative period. And it's going to bring in those nine of cups for you, that wish fulfillment. Um, this transformative period, the death card really is nothing can stop the death card. It is the end of old cycles, old conditioned behaviors. Um, it is release from, from doing things from a protective place of, it's the death of ego, it's the death of pride. It's doing things from the love space, doing things from the heart space. This is represented by, is it the Kakada? I, I don't know if I can ever say, uh, say the name properly. And it talks here about transition and liberation. You are going to feel so free next year, free from whatever's been holding you back, free from that, from, from the thing that you needed to let go of in this hangman. Whatever energies have been holding on to you, you're going to be able to release them. Um, the death card is, is a renewal, it's a rebirth. It's, it's coming into a new cycle with a different shift, with a different energetic approach, a different mindset. Um, it allows for obstacles to be cleared out of the way. Things that energetically you have maybe been holding on to that have been blocking your path. Um, and it allows for movement. So it allows the universe to step in through those walls of least resistance, those cracks of least resistance and bring in what you're wishing for with this nine of cups, which is, it, which is wonderful. Um, so, and on the bottom of the deck, as I'm saying that, you've got the empress has appeared. So you are really going to come into a place of empowerment. You're going to, I mean, the empress is represented by the hair here and the hair is all, always a reminder that you are amazing. You're a great catch. You're wonderful. The hair doesn't run from their fears. They face their fears. They're born with their eyes open. So they're very observant. They have their, these great big ears and they can listen and hear things, um, but having that direct perception. The Empress also is somebody who um, understands her value, knows that she deserves all these wonderful things, um, is manifesting as above down below, is saying thank you to the universe for what she knows is going to come in for her. She's saying thank you for it before it's happened because she knows it's going to happen, but it's going to happen at the right time when it's meant to happen with that wheel of fortune and the wheel is turning. And um, the Empress is uh, somebody who nurtures uh, 
uh, both herself and others, very empathic, very abundant in all sorts of things, whatever abundance may mean for you. But also the Empress talks about having the birth of something. Is it the birth, are you pregnant or is it the birth of an idea, a creative idea, something on your life path that's very important to you? And that's wonderful because that is in relation to this transformation. And again, do you see that the hair is looking at the cacada there? So everything is connected, remember, um, everything is connected. So let's have a little bit more information. I'm going to use my new Light Sears Tarot, which I've uh, just got today actually, and I'm really loving them. They're, they're lovely little cards, they're quite small. So let me just see what else does the universe, does spirit want to tell me? We just put those two together. So let's have a look at your nine of cups. Thank you, your wish fulfillment. Thank you, Spirit. What else for Aries with this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment? So you, thank you, Spirit, you've 10 of wands. So first of all, this is about you letting go. Um, and this is, you've reached the end of the cycle, okay? So the 10 of wands is energetically letting go, you think, letting go of things that no longer serve you. It's like a computer when you have that buffering and the control of delete, you know, you have had too many tabs open. I think you've been carrying a lot of people um, and you've been wanting to help fix people and do too much for people. So it's about those healthy boundaries. Um, but you're moving literally away from that. Um, and you're on this path now where um, you know where you want to go. Um, let me see what else has come out. And you want something that's balanced. You want whatever in your life that's your wish fulfillment, you want something where it's, it's balanced. It's balanced equal give and take. Tell me more about please the nine of cups and the 10 of wands, thank you. You've left something in the past. Thank you, tell me more. Eight of Pentacles. So you've done a great deal of work on yourself, my darling, not just, well, you've done a great, you've, you've worked so hard, not obviously just with work and things, but also on yourself, all of that spiritual side of you as well. And you're more focused on that right now. You're more focused on what is good for you, you're focused on self-care, you're focused on spirituality, you're focused on um, healing things inside of yourself, um, you're focused on um, what lights you up, um, what's good for you. So this is wonderful. Tell me more about what's coming in with this Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. That flew out, where's it gone? There. So you've got the Six of Pentacles. You know I talked about something balanced. You've got that coming in for you, the Six of Pentacles. Whatever's coming in with this King of Wands, with your transformation, with the Empress, it's going to bring, it's going to bring great balance to your life. Um, let me just see what else wants to come out for you. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Thank you. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Thank you. Judgment. So judgment is a rebirth. Judgment can be a reconciliation. It could be a chance of renewal with somebody. Um, judgment represents that you went through a symbolic ending, but it is a rebirth. It's, a, it's, an inner, it's an inner calling, it's a second chance. So with this King of Wands, is this somebody you've been with in your past? And as above, down below, you've manifested that return of this King of Wands. Five of Swords. Did you walk away from them in the past from self-love? Did you walk away from them? I mean, The, the five of swords represents doing something from a place of self-love, something that was very painful to do, but with it, you gained clarity and truth. The ravens in here can represent loss. But the ravens, 
um, they're also the keeper of secrets. So it means that through these darker periods, you gain that insight. So tell me more about this King of Wands. Thank you. The chariot. There is going to be movement and it's coming straight for you. And again, with the black and the white, the yin and the yang, there's, there's balance to it. Um, thank you. You've manifested this, the three of wands, the ace of wands. You've manifested this, my darling. The three and the one, ace makes the four of wands. Whatever this relationship is, it's a very strong relationship. And you've, you've been manifesting it. Um, this three of wands, you've, you've kind of ridden the waves of your emotions. Um, and it talks about waiting for those manifestations to come in as above down below. And the ace of wands is about you focusing on yourself, on what, what makes you happy, that passion, that desire, that creativity. Um, and it's something that is your gift from God. It's, it's that knowing as well that you have. It is a gift from God. So this is wonderful. Okay, let's pull some other decks for you to see. Yeah, King of Wands, the Chariot, the Judgment, and the Five of Swords. Wherever as well they are, they're in a place where they're beginning to get clarity on things as well. So let me now pull, I'm guided to pull some from my Tarot Illuminati. Thank you, Spirit. Can you tell me more about, um, oh, there they are, I've already done it. The Eight of Pentacles, another Eight of Pentacles. So I was about to ask, can you tell me more about this King of Wands? Now you've already got the Eight of Pentacles where you've been doing all of this work on yourself. And they have also got this Eight of Pentacles. And you see here, this Five of Pentacles behind, that is a period of time where they felt a loss, a sadness, um, a lack of, and that has, um, those experiences have, brought them to the place where they want to build this foundation, a new foundation, and they're working on that cornerstone right now. Whatever they're doing, they're working hard on themselves, but to create a new foundation. And I'm seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of this deck as I'm saying it. So although you might not think that they're aware of you, they are very aware of you. They just are sitting in their emotions at this time. And that's quite a difficult thing for them to do. Tell me more, please, thank you about this King of Acorns coming towards Aries. Thank you. Do you want to tell us more about the King of Acorns? Yes. Yes, literally, this is the Yes card. This is, and there at the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune again for you. So whoever's coming in, this is a Yes card from the universe. It again is swords represent in this, particularly in this card, that clarity, that truth, that knowing. It is, um, it's coming, communications is a communication card. It's coming with peace. And it's coming because of a transformative um, place that you have been through with transformation, the death card, and also that your soulmate, whoever this king of acorns is, is coming in. And the wheel is turning in your favor. And it's a reminder about staying centered, staying centered so that you don't get so many emotional ups and downs by hanging on the outside of the wheel. Remain true to yourself. Thank you. Can you tell us more about what's coming in for Aries next year? The Empress and the transformation. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. You've got the five of wands, so you do need to remind her to stay away from arguments and any negative energies, okay? Um, you yourself, my darling, um, you've got the hangman. So there's still this period and you're still going to decide. Um, okay, no, sorry. Thank you, spirit. Five of wands and the hangman like this. 
Do you see he's hanging on the wheel there? Do you remember I talked to you about being centered? Where is the other? It's disappeared now. Being, here it is. Stay centered to yourself, stay true to yourself. The more you can stand back and observe, the more you stay in the center of that wheel and watch what's happening around you. Watch what's happening for your life. When you get involved in negative energies, when you get involved, when you find yourself drawn into things that are, you don't want to be around, it, makes, it just makes you uncomfortable. Spirit is saying don't, because then what happens and you're literally going to be attached to the outside of the wheel and you're going to find yourself emotionally having lots of ups and downs. So the more you stay true to yourself, the more you stay centered, the more you're in this emperor space, the less that wheel will turn so rapidly. Um, and let's just see what else has come out for you. Thank you. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. You're going to have balance. This is you know, staying in the center of that wheel, observing why things, things are happening for you. You're, you're, you've come through on such a journey. Look, the strength card. You're going, this, this period of time is a time of where the universe is giving you this strength, um, but also it's a time for you to, to continue to quieten those fears. This is this empathic divine feminine side of you. And it's quietening this lion and turning it into a lamb, literally. Um, and this is the infinity symbol of the divine. You've been through something symbolic, but you've now literally reached greener pastures. You, you're coming into a different place. It's spring-like. There is change. There is rebirth. There is growth. Growth? There is growth. <laughs> Um, and you've got the sun card now on the bottom of the deck. It's all bringing in your happiness. And again, the ace of swords for you too. Let's use my golden art, you go tower. Tell me what else is coming in for Aries next year. So, thank you, Spirit. The hermit and the other card that you had was the seven of pentacles and on the bottom of the deck you've got the six of six of wands the hermit a time of deep reflection a time of focusing on your what your soul's trying to tell you not a lot of people hang out like the hermit it's it's not it's it's a place where you actually enjoy that time alone with yourself and that solitude um, but the hermit, that snow, you know, that represents that something that you've been through to get, to want to go within. But the hermit is an amazing place to be because all the answers that we have do lie within us. And you've started to see that with this hangman. The seven of pentacles is your manifestations, whatever your wish fulfillments are, my darling, this, this nine of cups, this wish fulfillments, they've already started to happen as above, down below. Um, they may not have come into to bloom yet. Um, they may not have grown to their full, they haven't come off the tree, they haven't fallen off the tree yet because it's not quite the right time. But you're starting to see your manifestations, you're starting to see. So don't be despondent. Just understand as above, down below, and continue as you are to be so grateful for what you do have, because you are going to be victorious. And with this card, it's a reminder about always doing things from a place of peace and truth and clarity, from that love space, that heart space, that soul space within you, focusing on the direction that you want to go on. And with the five ones behind, which you had uh, that appeared in the reading, Stay away from anything negative and continue to focus on where you want to go to. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else you want to tell Aries? Thank you. Thank you. Strength card, again. So that's come out another time. It's come out another time. And the temperance card came out for you. So this is all divine timing. Um, I'm going to pull, what did you appear from? 
I'm going to pull um, one more card. Thank you from my dream tarot for you. Thank you, Spirit. The High Priestess. So you now have the Empress, the High Priestess, the Death card, the tran transformation. You have um, the Hangman. Next year is a journey for you of that continuing self-discovery, that continuing enlightenment that connecting with yourself, listening to yourself, because listening to yourself is respecting yourself. And when you start to respect yourself, then you start to see that others also will treat you very differently as well. Because um, if we don't love and respect ourselves, then how can we expect others to do that? Um, you're going to have such insight next year. You're going to be so connected with that source energy, with your soul, with the divine. Um, and whoever this king of wands that's coming rushing towards you, whoever they are coming rushing towards you, you are manifesting them. You are very aware of who they are. And I do feel this is a second chance. This is somebody you've known before. Um, and the universe is saying, yes, this is a rebirth. This is a, this is communicate clearly about what you want with them. Um, when you speak to them, if you're not sure of the right words, I always find um, if you're ever having a conversation with somebody, you want to get the words right. Don't think about it too much. Just say to spirit. Thank you. Thank you for the right words. But you are going through a transformation. This is a huge period of your life. A, a, a big change in your life and whatever you're manifesting my darling with the three of wands and the nine of cups it's coming in for you the wheel you've had two wheels the wheel of fortune is turning for you and just re just remain focused on yourself remain focused on that inner you love that inner you trust that inner you and beautiful things are going beautiful things are happening for you next year um these journeys are never easy, but they're the most wonderful, amazing, extraordinary journeys at the same time. Um, I'm just lastly going to pull you some angel answer cards, my darling. Um, and so we're going to be looking at, um, if this reading has resonated with you, what we're going to be doing is, uh, I want you to just close your eyes and think of the questions that you have, and then we'll see what answer spirit has for you. So thank you, spirit. Answers for Aries, please. Thank you. If you believe comes down to you, your belief in yourself, your trust and belief that you're being guided by the universe, trust and belief that everything's happening for you. You may not understand that quite yet, but everything's happening for you. You've also got success at the bottom of the deck. So whatever you're wishing for is, is you're going to be successful. Thank you, Spirit. And you've got within the next few weeks. So that is lovely. Um, whatever that answer was for you within the next few weeks success if you believe i think that's well let's just put it the other way if you believe you're going to have success in the next few weeks so there we are my darling um i um hope that helped and resonate hope that helped for whoever this reading resonated with um, there's lots going on in your life um, all beautiful things just stay focused stay trusting stay believing um, you've come so far and you're about to enter a whole extraordinary, another level of transformation and Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment is coming in for you next year, my darling. All right, well, listen, have a lovely rest of the week. Take care. And, um, and I don't know why I said now listen, so maybe Spirit's asking you to listen. Um, I don't normally ever say that. So um, listen, observe, observe. Um, we're very good at talking. I can sit and talk now, but actually listening to people is so important because that's when we learn. So that was probably why I said that. Thank you, Spirit. Um, have the rest of a lovely week. And I look forward to doing your December reading for you um, at the end of this week. In the meantime, take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.